are United States citizens, you should be going on a people-to-people -people tour. The people-to-people -people tours are anywhere from seven to eight hours. Again, since I said that there we're in a very small space with how many tours are being offered, Carnival basically purchases almost every tour in the area so that we can have enough tours to actually fit up to 2,700 guests. If you choose to go through Carnival, great. We have the tours ready for you to book. We have it to where you would be in government compliance. If at any point you were ever audited, you could call the Carnival Corporate Headquarters. There would be a thing right there that says you are on the manifest, you took that tour, and you are not going to be subject to that $500 to $5,000. However, again, if you choose to do uh, choose not to do a tour, that is completely okay. And I'm going to explain to you how you will get off the ship. If you are on a carnival-proofed um, carnival tour, because everything is so time sensitive, carnival tours will have priority of getting off the ship, just because everything is time-based. And the reasons why, there is one gangway out and one gangway in. And once you see this beautiful gangway, you will say the guy who was wearing a sweater and looks and sounds like Nathan Lane was right, because that gangway is the scariest thing you'll see. And when one person forgets something, it slows down the entire process because there's a, there's a, you go out, side, you get into a line to have your temperature taken, to go through immigration. From immigration, you go through security. From security, you go through um, uh, currency exchange. So it's a large process for 2,700 guests, okay? So we have a time-sensitive thing. We normally clear the ship within a one and a half to two hours, as long as everybody follows the basic rules. If you choose not to go on a tour, okay? Because if you have a tour, you'll receive your tour ticket. You'll meet in either here in the Normandy Lounge or in the Elation Restaurant. If you decide to go out on your own, Get yourself very familiar with deck number nine, and that's right up these stairs, and go to where the coffee shop is. Where the coffee shop is, there's a small desk that says shopping expert. At 6.30 in the morning, you will collect a like sticker, which will have a letter on it. And when your letter is called is when you can then exit the ship. Now the question again will be asked, how do I know when my letter is called? Well, it's from A to Z, and we start with A. <laughs> Believe me, we have people ask if our toilet water is salt water, okay? It's a true statement. So that's how that works, okay? So once again, if you're going on a, a carnival tour, you'll receive a ticket. We'll go to your room the night before. We'll tell you if you're gonna go here in the Normandy Lounge or to the Elation Restaurant. If you decide to go on your own and be on an independent tour, you will go get a sticker at the shopping expert desk right next to the coffee shop with a letter. The earlier you get there, the better chance you have to get those tickets. If you're going on a tour that you have purchased yourself from, another, from a third party, you will need to get the actual sticker by the coffee shop in order to exit the ship. So if you have a tour and it starts at 8 a.m., I strongly suggest that you're there by 6.30 so that you can then get that sticker because that's how we work. The third question you will ask is, are those third party tours um, accepted in the people to people connection? Nine times out of 10, no because you have to fulfill a quota of a certain amount of hours while being in Cuba. Again, the hours that we have to fulfill is seven to eight hours, and most of those tours are from three to four hours. My strongest suggestion is for you to go onto the OFACT website and look it up just to make sure it is. If it isn't, like I said, grab a sticker and head on out. We know that you're only there for three things, folks. Rum, cigars, and cars. 
but we will definitely try to do our best to at least get you in that experience. I know that the, the, the last thing out of this before we will um, open it up here is if I decide um, I'm going on these tours, I want to make sure that I do get some rum and cigars. Well, Cuba did one thing extremely right when they build these lines. Just like at Disney, there's a gift shop at the end. So in the terminal building, we have cigars on this side, and you have coffee and rum on this side. So when you're in the actual terminal on your way back, everything is authentic, and everything is up for, that, um, for what you want to purchase it at. You may not get the name brand you asked for, but everything is there if you decide to go on those tours and you're running a little bit late. If the tours do run a little bit late, you will still get the full tour. So everything that is um, going to happen. So folks, with all of that being said, that's a lot of information. I strongly suggest this is going to be recorded and this is going to be being played onto your TV. So if you are watching it through the channels, you can watch this to hear this information again. Or just like Heidi wears a hat to stand out, I wear sweaters every day. So you can always find the one and only person wearing